I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hi. Um, I want to make a quick video uh, in response to Born Again 77777 video called uh, Junk DNA, another, oh, what is it called here? Oh, Junk DNA, another failed prediction of evolutionists. Um, the reason I, this needs to be addressed, I tried to send a response. Um, however, comments are blocked, ratings are blocked, um, and so on. Very typical creationist. Um, in my opinion here. Um, so the video um, is a, uh, I don't know if it's born again speaking or if it's a uh, just a video, another video clip from another creationist. I don't know. There's no name that I could find at least on the video. Um, but it's a woman speaking about the ENCODE project in genetics um, with the, uh, uh, well, there's a whole lot of stuff in there. I'm not going to get into all of the details. However, um, I have the article right here. I have all 18 pages of the Nature article that she referred to. Um, and I'm going to, I guess I can say, uh, look it up yourself. Um, practically, in fact, little, if anything, that she says in that video is actually in this paper. Um, it's, it's kind of unusual. Or, or things are reworded. Um, and I want to give a really specific example of that. Um, she uh, says at the very end, she says the, she's talking about um, evolutionarily constrained segments of junk DNA, um, which first of all, this article isn't about junk DNA whatsoever. It's about specific, the 1% ENCODE region of the genome that they're looking for. Um, and in, in fact, in practically word for word, everything that she claims this article says, the article actually says the exact opposite. Um, but I want to give just one example of what I believe of. Uh, well, she really needs to apologize or um, at least be ashamed of herself for stating. She said um, at the end of the article, the most surprising result was that 50% is not conserved. Um, first of all, that doesn't say that in this article whatsoever. Um, she's using the term conserved, not conserved, junk DNA. Um, first of all, we would expect very little uh, junk DNA to be conserved. Um, uh, the fact that they found some that is conserved that may have some function, that's a great, um, an amazing find. Um, however, it's not some death, no, death toll to, or whatever you, uh, to, create, to evolutionism in the slightest bit. Um, in fact, it doesn't, it, it, the paper completely supports evolution 100%. Um, but what they do say, um, you, the earlier quote from her, they state, uh, let's see here, However, we have also encountered a remarkable excess of experimentally identified functional elements lacking evolutionary constraint, and these cannot be dismissed for technical reasons. This is perhaps the biggest surprise of the pilot phase of the ENCODE project and suggests that we do a more neutral view, take a more neutral view of many of the functions conferred by the genome. Um, what this means is, is that the opposite. It means that parts, they found that things that we assumed had function um, may not have any function at all. Um, um, and a surprising number of the things that were assumed to be um, uh, these unconstrained regions. So anyway, that, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, it's really typical. It doesn't surprise me. I know another creationist lie doesn't, doesn't surprise me one bit. But um, I needed to get, wanted to get that out there just in case somebody falls for it. Somebody may not have online access to nature. And, um, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you can, please get the article and read it yourself. It's actually very interesting. It's a little long, but um, and uh, a lot of it, I had to look up some of the things. I'm not a geneticist. I am an evolutionary biologist, not a geneticist by trade. Uh, okay, and thank you. Bye.